This is the bass trombone. It's the instrument that plays low in the trombone instrument family. You'll observe here, the bass trombone has lots of tubing. It has lots of extra tubing, and uh, that allows the instrument to, uh, to play lower and to be flexible in that register. You'll also notice uh, that the, the bass trombone mouthpiece is quite large. That helps playing low. And the bell is larger than the alto or the tenor trombone, which allows it to play lower easier. The bass trombone and the tuba basically can play in the same range. Uh, their timbres are just slightly different. Uh, the tuba timbre is quite, quite large and quite wide. Uh, the bass trombone timbre is a little more pointed, but we play in the same range. This instrument has two valves, uh, and uh, basically it allows you to use the inner positions with a valve mashed down rather than going all the way out. So it's a way of adding tubing to the instrument without moving the slide. For instance, a low F is in sixth position, or I can mash down this first valve and play it in first position. So it just gives me more options for playing notes in the low register. The lowest note on this instrument is a pedal B natural, which is quite low. And for that, for that note, I have to mash down both of my valves and put the slide out as far as it will go. When you play low notes on the bass trombone and the slide is all the way out, you're getting close to the end of the slide, and it's, it's very easy for the slide to come off the end. I have to be kind of careful about that. Most trombone players begin playing the trombone on a tenor trombone, and uh, I, would, I would dare to say that probably 99.9% .9 of the professional trombone players out there start in band, uh, usually around the age of 10, fifth grade in America. And uh, we start on the tenor trombone, and that's, that's how I began. I showed up in fifth grade one day, and they had sign-ups for band. And so I thought, hmm, that, that sounds kind of fun. So I signed up, and we went into this big room, and our band director, demonstrated each one of the instruments. And I was immediately taken with the one thing that separates the trombone from all of the other instruments, which is the slide. The minute the band director went, he had me. And that's why I chose the trombone. I started playing when I was 10, and uh, in the beginning, you know, the sounds weren't great, and I wanted to sound great, so I practiced a lot, and I wasn't really forced to practice. Uh, I, I loved the sound of this instrument, and I really enjoyed doing it, and uh, as a result of that, I, I, I did it a lot. You know, oftentimes when my friends were out playing football and baseball, I would be in playing scales, playing my major scales, practicing my scales. And eventually, you know, after a year or two of, uh, of steady daily practice, uh, my sound improved. I started being able to play in tune a little better. And uh, my facility on the instrument, my slide technique got better and better. And it actually started getting fun after lots of daily consistent practice. <laughs> When I was 13 years old and entering as a freshman into high school, uh, we started having to kind of think about what we were going to major in in college. And I started thinking about what, what am I going to do? What am I going to study in college? And music was really the only thing I really wanted to do. And uh, so I, all through high school, I was preparing myself to be a music education major and uh, pursue, uh, pursue the trombone. 
You know, the trombone is a fun instrument. It's a social instrument. It's not like piano uh, where you sit in a room by yourself and practice. You know, the trombone is an instrument. Mo a lot of the time when you're playing the trombone, it's with other kids. And uh, it's it's fun from the very beginning. You're in, it's like sports for non-sports people in a way. You're in a group, you're playing together, you have to cooperate, you have to listen. and. Um, so it's, it's fun from the very beginning. And depending on how much uh, a young person practices, if you begin at the age of 10, it doesn't take very long before you're, you're producing a pretty good sound if, if you're practicing daily and you have good technique.